Hello, uh, my name is Pete Jackson. I'm the head of A-level film studies here at Cardinal Newman College. Uh, a lot of students come to us not really knowing what film studies is all about, and I, I suppose that the subject it's closest to at school is English literature. So whereas in English literature you study books and you look at how the author has used language to communicate ideas and to get an emotional response from their reader, we look at how filmmakers use cameras and lighting, how they use uh, the editing and the sound, how they direct the performance of the actors to try and, again, to get that sense of uh, meaning across to their audiences. So what we do on the A-Level Film Studies course is we, we start from the assumption that you don't know anything at all about film. And so we teach you an awful lot about the language of film. We look at camera work, we look at the impact of lighting, we look at how different kinds of sound uh, create different kinds of moods and atmospheres in the, in the way that they're used in, in the films that we study. And then after a, a fairly lengthy period of kind of studying this, this, uh, these elements of, of film and how they work, we then start to apply those ideas to the 11 feature films that we need to study for our exams. So at the end of the, the two-year course, you do two uh, sets of exams. And in those, you'll be writing about a variety of different issues raised by the films and the filmmakers and the times in which those films were made. And we look at a whole broad range of films. We start out by looking at American cinema. So we look at a couple of films made during the 20th century, uh, a classical Hollywood film called Casablanca and a new Hollywood film from the late 60s called Bonnie and Clyde. Then we'll move on and look at some more contemporary films. So we'll look at a Hollywood blockbuster and we'll look at an independently made American film. And then we'll start to look at some films from outside of America. We'll look at a couple of British films, uh, a 90s film called uh, Train Spotting that probably reignited the, the, the interest in the British film industry. And again, a more contemporary film called Fish Tank, uh, made on a much different kind of budget with a much different kind of feeling. That should take us to, roughly speaking, about two thirds of the way through the first year of the course. And it's at that point, once we've done a lot of work on, on film analysis, that we get to put some of those ideas into practice. So we get the opportunity to either make a short film or to write a screenplay for a short film. So we've studied short film as a form. We've learned an awful lot about how the choices that a filmmaker makes have an impact on their audiences. And then we can put that into practice by making some of our own products. That then lead us into the second year of the course and by then we've got an awful lot of uh, knowledge and understanding of how films work under our belt so we're able to move on and look at some slightly more challenging films. We look at films from uh, outside of um, Britain and America. We look at a film made in Germany and another film made in Mauritania in Africa. We look at some documentary. We go right back to the beginning. We look at some silent film, film from the 1920s and then we end up by looking at... Um, a film from the Czechoslovakian New Wave of the 1960s, a really experimental feminist film. It's probably the most challenging film on the course, which is why we do that last. Uh, having completed all of that work, having got the, the filmmaking and the screenwriting under our belts and studied these 11 feature films, we're then prepared to go into an exam room and we were going to write about them. Uh, and at the end of that, we come away with our A-level in film. So if you were to come and study A-level film studies with us here at Cardinal Newman College, what you'd find is that initially you'd be in a classroom, lots of other people. We spend an awful lot of time uh, screening material, so we look at, at extracts from films as well as much longer pieces from films. But rather than just have a look at them and then say whether we like them or not, there's not an awful lot to, to be done there. Instead, we discuss them, we apply the ideas and the, the, the terminology that we've learned to really get to the heart of how the decisions that a filmmaker makes about how to shoot a film, how to light a film, how to edit a shot, how to move the camera or to keep the camera in one place, all of those kind of technical decisions really have an impact on the way that we understand both what's being communicated but also how it has an impact on our, our emotional response to the film as well. So there's an awful lot of discussion. Um, we, we take a lot of notes, obviously, uh, because we're aiming at, at writing um, essays in an exam. So uh, the, the skills that you'd be bringing with you from, from your GCSE study are really those, uh, those essay writing skills, those... Um, or structuring and ordering of your idea skills, which will then, of course, develop and help to move you forward with that. But then what you're going to be learning, what you're going to be expressing in those, uh, those written um, pieces that you'll be doing over the years, is a really detailed understanding of how those technical decisions that a filmmaker makes impact on an audience's response or an individual spectator's response to the film, how we understand story, how we understand character, but also how we understand some of the bigger ideas in there, things like uh, ideologies that a filmmaker may be trying to express, or how uh, looking at a film from the past might tell us something about the time in which that film was made and the social 
uh, and political ideas that were, were current at the time in which that film was made. So it's, it's a subject that, that draws on skills you probably already have and will expand and develop them into new areas, but it also really uh, overlaps with a lot of other subject areas as well. A lot of people think, I'm going to do film studies, that must mean that I, I must be doing drama or, or English or something, and th those things work really well with it. But we have a lot of people who do history, politics, even people who do physics and maths, who are using their knowledge and understanding in these other areas to really kind of expand on uh, what film has to offer. So it's, it's a subject that complements a lot of, of other areas of study as well. So if you wanted to come and join us to do A-level film studies, uh, it's an A-level subject, so you'd need to achieve a GCSE uh, across the board like you would to get onto any A-level programme. But in, in, in film studies particularly, we're looking at your English grades. So we'd like to see you getting a, a six in either or both of English language and in English literature. And that will really demonstrate to us that you've got the capabilities to, to work at the level that you're really gonna need to in terms of essay writing uh, and expressing and analyzing ideas, which is exactly what film studies is all about. If you do A-level film studies with us, uh, there's a very strong chance that that's gonna prepare you for entry into university and a good number of our film students go off to university to do uh, closely related subjects. So some do film studies, uh, some go straight into looking at specific kinds of technical skills. So we get people who go off to do uh, TV and radio production or even go into things like online editing. Um, people go into game design, they go into journalism, these are all kind of related to film and you're taking with you onto those subjects. Uh, things that you've learned in film about story structure, narrative, visual communication. And that's really what film studies is, is um, preparing you to do, to take ideas about visual communication with you out into the next level of study or even into employment. We've had some real success stories in the past. Uh, and most recently, we had a student who left us only a few years ago and having completed his, his degree in Manchester in uh, cinematography, he then went on to find employment working on... Uh, I think it's Fast and Furious 9 as a, a camera assistant. So it's, it's not the case that everybody who does film studies here goes off to have a glittering career in Hollywood, but some do. It's not beyond the realms of possibility that you could take with you the skills and experiences you gain with us on a film studies course at Cardinal Newman College, take those, develop those, and then take them into you know, really successful jobs uh, in the, the creative media industry. Oh, oh, oh.